Hey everyone, this is Nico Orncho from the Centron Foundation and in this video I want to show you a little bit about smart items and how you can use them to make your scenes interactive without writing any code at all. So I'm going to jump into this scene that I've already been building and so far the scene has nothing interactive, it's all plain old normal items without anything smart about them. And you'll see that, that there's you know, some trees, some chunks of walls, nothing more than that and I'm going to add a few items to give it a little bit more life. Um, so you'll see that, you know, we have these standard um, asset packs down here and you will find all kind, kinds of normal items. I can drag these into the scene and you will see that they get added um, as part of the decoration of the scene. Um, I can, you know, find all sorts of things, including, um, you know, parts of buildings or trees, plants, all kinds of things. I can add this weird weed into my scene and it just appears as part of the scene. Um, but you will find that there is a special asset pack that is dedicated just to smart items, which you can find here. And the items here are all interactive. They all include some kind of functionality. And you will see that they also match up pretty well with the default items in the central end. Like for example, this door, um, fits in perfectly with the shape of this frame. So I can now just rotate this door 90 degrees and I can adjust it so that it fits perfectly with the door. And if I run my scene now, you will find that this door as it is, is already interactive and I can already open it. You will see in a later video that you can configure this um, in all kinds of ways and do all kinds of interesting stuff with it. But for now, I will just limit myself to adding the default items as they come and not changing their default behaviors. So I can also, for example, add a chest here and I can, which by the way, can be opened by clicking on it. And I would also add a platform. Um, let's go with this mystic kind of room thing um, so that this, this platform will be moving up and down. I'm going to move this other item so it's not too much in the way. And we can use it to get up to this elevated platform here. So with this alone, I can already run a preview of my scene and I can play around with it and see how these items behave by default. Um, in the next video, I'm going to dive into actually configuring them and changing their default behaviors in all sorts of interesting ways. But you will notice that I can already open the door and you will also hear it play sounds, not just animate and open the chest. And I should also be seeing my platform, which is, oh, I'm sorry. It looks like I added a horizontally moving platform instead of a vert vertically moving platform. So it was moving sideways. Um, I actually want this one instead. So I'm going to delete this platform from here and add this other one with the up and down pointing arrows. This is what I really wanted for my scene. So I'm going to open the preview once again. Here we go. Now our platform is moving up and down as I expected, and I can use it to get up onto this ledge. And we will later see how we can configure this platform so that it doesn't move so high up since I don't need it to go so high up in the, in the air. All right, so this is all I wanted to show for this first video. Um, thanks for watching and keep posted for more videos.